This is going to be another Android Studio tutorial. In this series of tutorials, I'm going to be showing you how to add data to an SQL database on the phone and then displaying it on a list view and being able to edit or delete it. I've been getting a lot of questions on this and I know that currently on my YouTube channel, all I have is this video here, saving data with SQLite and adding it to a list view. So I'm going to kind of do something very similar, but I'm going to expand on it. So I'm going to show you how to not only add data to the SQLite database on the phone, but I'm going to show you how to open it in another activity and edit the data or remove the data if you want. So I will give you a little demo here. Let's add some stuff to a database. Let's add some names. Okay, so I've added a bunch of names to the database. Now I'm going to go click on view data. And we can see just like in my old tutorial, we show all the names in a list. But the difference now is if I click on one of them, it brings you to another screen where you can edit it. So I can change the name to uh, whatever. Click save. It will save. Now if I go back to the list, we can see that Tess no longer exists and it's now called, she's now Lindsay. Then I can also delete that, that if I want and go delete and we can see that it gets deleted from the list. In this part of the series, we're going to be starting with just this uh, main screen, the main screen here where we're going to be adding data. So we'll go to activity main and we'll get started there. It's going to be pretty much exactly the same as with my previous tutorial, the one that I mentioned on my YouTube channel. So just go ahead and copy this layout and throw it in. Now go back to main activity. And up top, we'll declare our tag, our database helper, our button, and our edit text field. Of course, I didn't make the database helper class yet, so that's going to be red. Now declare everything in on create. Actually, you know what? At this point, let's let's make the database helper class. So clear a new Java class, call it database helper, and have it extend SQ, SQL, SQLite open helper. Then we're going to insert some override methods. We need on upgrade. We're going to need the default constructor on upgrade and on create. We can delete everything in the default constructor though. We only need to pass the context. So up top here, we'll create our tag and declare our table name and our column names. This is just a simple tutorial. I'm just going to have one column for ID and one column for name. And I'm just going to call it the people table since I'm saving names. Oh, whoops, forgot you have to pass a one here for, I think it's error handling. Let's move the on create up here. I just like it up here. So in the override on create method, we're going to create our table. So the SQL statement looks like this, create table, people table, and have these columns. We have an ID, integer, primary key, auto incrementing, and we have our second column, which is gonna be named name, and the parameters it will take are text. Then in our on upgrade method, we're gonna execute an SQL statement, drop if table exists, and then put our table name. Now we create a method for adding data to the database. We'll call it add data. First thing we wanna do in add data is create an SQLite database objects. To declare the uh, SQLite database objects, we, we use the method get writable database on the context. Then we declare a content values object, which is going to help us write to the database. Then we add our first value to content values. So we do content values dot put and we put the column name and then the item that we're passing to it. Then we just log it and we're going to create a long variable, which is going to re represent whether or not the data was inserted correctly or not inserted correctly. So we'll go database dot insert into the table. Don't worry about this and then we pass our content values as, as a third parameter now we need to check if the data was inserted correctly so this this result will be negative one if it's not inserted correctly and it will return i think it's zero something greater than zero if it inserts correctly so then we just do if result is negative one we know that it wasn't inserted correctly and anything else we know we're good okay we're all done for now in the database helper let's close it and go back to main activity and just finish up here First thing, just to get out of the way, is let's create our toast method. Then let's create our add data method for adding data to the database. So the add data method is going to take a string. In this case, it's going to be a name, and it's going to add it to the database. So because if we go back to our database helper, remember when we're inserting data, we're actually going to return a Boolean. So we need to create a Boolean here. We'll call it insert data. Then we'll call the database helper and use the method add data, which is this method right here and then pass the new entry. And then we know that if this Boolean is, is false, it's not gonna be inserted correctly, but if it's true, then it was inserted correctly. So we just do a little if else statement here, if insert data is true, successfully inserted data, else something went wrong. Now let's go up to on create and declare some buttons. There's our add button. Now we need to get the string, the new value for the name from the edit text field. There's our name. And now we just need to make sure that the name isn't null before someone tries to add it to the database. So we just do a little exception handling here. If edit text length does not equal zero, then we want to add it to the database. So we just call add data, pass the new value, and then reset the text. Now we're going to go down and set our next button, which is going to be the button that navigates us to the list view. 
So we just set an on-click listener, create an intent. Uh, this is the context, and then this is going to be the activity that we're navigating to, and then just start the intent. Actually, you know what? This video is not even that long yet. Let's let, I can create this activity also. So go create a new Java class and call it list data activity. And now we need to create this layout file. Call list call it list layout and go so go to new list layout. And I made it ahead of time, so I'm just going to paste it in here. It's just a list view. Not, nothing special here. So we can close it. Go back to uh, list data activity and go up top. All we need is our tag, our database helper, and our list view. Now declare all those and on create. And I'm going to call a method called populate list view, and that's what's going to display the data into the list view. There's populate list view. Let's create this method. Oh, actually, we're going to need to go back to our database helper and create a method that's going to return all the information. And let's give us some more space here. So it's going to be it's going to return a cursor type, and we'll call it get data. All we need here is our SQLite database object and then a cursor object. There's our database object. Now we just create a cursor object. And if you wanted to get really fancy, you could separate the query. So that way you know kind of what, what your query is. You're just doing a select all from the table. And then you return the data. So back to list data activity. So there's our log and our cursor, which is going to return all the rows from this select all statement. Then we need to create an array list and loop through all the, all the rows of the query and get the data. So we create an array list called list data, and then we call move to next on the data, which is going to iterate through each one of the rows. Then as it iterates through the rows, we add the data to the list. We use data.getString, which means get string at column one. And in our case here, column one is name. This is, this is column zero. Oh yeah, I guess I could have labeled that differently. This is technically column zero, and then this is column one. So that's why we have a one here for column one. Then we just need to create a list adapter and adapt the items to the list view. So I'm just going to use a simple list item and pass the list data right here and then set the adapter. And since I'm here, I'm going to throw in the toast. So I think I'm going to stop it here. In, in, the, next, uh, in the next tutorial, I'm going to go over setting an on-click listener for the list view and then navigating to that new edit, that edit screen where we could delete information or, or edit information. Whoops, I actually forgot to do something. Let's uh, go into the manifest and add an activity that I created. For every activity that we create, we need to add it to the manifest. So in our case, it was the list data activity. So all you need to do is add this line to your manifest and it'll be good to go. If this video was helpful, don't forget to leave a like below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.